Why do I always get the good jobs? Parked under the wrong tree last night, again. Ready to get solar this morning. And um, the albatross that lives in this tree, it must have been an albatross for what he laid down, has um, said good morning. Anyway, I have got something to say. I want to say thank you to uh, all the people that have watched, and liked, and subscribed to the channel, in particular to the vlog we did last week on the um, solar panels. It's uh, got some really nice comments and questions. So thank you. Whilst I get back to cleaning up all the um, glue that's been left on the top of the boat for today. Oh, it's horrible. And it does stick. It's better than glue. You could use this for wallpaper. People still use wallpaper. Right, there's another thing we've got here because, um, as you can see, this is the back of the panel. For those that's interested. And this is how the brackets look from the back. 245 watt, not 240 each per pound. So that's an extra staggering 15 watts I get there. And I almost topped, topped out the other day. I had over seven, I think it was 717 watts. It was the highest reading I had on that particular day, which was nice. Yeah. So we're going to carry on this vlog with our journey on the Thames and we head towards Teddington and stop off at Hampton Court. So okay. hope you enjoy the vlog. different pub those little houses next to it attached to it like that well, that was stables once upon a time uh, the hotel stables possibly Going under the M3. This is the M3 motorway. And coming into our next lock. So this is our fourth lock, I think. Fourth lock today. Big weir there. This is Chertsey Bridge. Very pretty.
this is Pharaoh's Island and have we just seen there's no cars on this there's no drives the only way in and off is boat so we can't see there's a house down there for sale and another one there for sale No cars, just your boat. Pharaoh's Island. The only way on and off is by boat. Well, we've just left Shoppington, Shoppington Lock. And that's the river way over there. We're turning over here. It's been quite a smooth journey so far today. Most of the locks have been in our favour so we've moved along quite fast. We're coming into the town of Hampton which of course has the very famous Hampton Court in it. We're hoping we might get a, a mooring here as we approach the court, Hampton Court because we want to have a quick look round before we then head on. Sorry that a lot of this footage has been taken from the front of the boat, so we've had quite a few locks to go through. Um, and the Environment Agency insists that we hold both front uh, bow and stern lines. So I don't, didn't have a lot of time to stand at the back with Jonathan today. However, I have recorded a little sequence of Russell inside the boat which I should put onto this vlog so those of you that like to hear Russell you'll you'll get to see him in his all his glory in this vlog inside the engine room so you won't miss out <laughs> interesting building there it's very dilapidated it looks quite quirky well, that was obviously a wharf used to look so this is Port Hampton so I have to look at Port Hampton because that's quite cute that tower Hampton and there's the church, Hampton Church there. Now this bridge in front of us has got people jumping off of it. Now you might see this guy come off because he's just going over the bridge and there's several already in the water so there's two on the bridge now that look like they well at least one's going to go over.
tight corner there. Brings us out on here. This is Mosley Lock. How lucky we are to be moored alongside Hampton Court Palace. Uh, Julie and I went around the outside. I had a coffee. 
weather in March. Yeah. Put the worlds to right. Yeah. And the weather was it's getting better now. It was a bit grey this morning. It's supposed to be glorious tomorrow. Yeah. And then Tuesday, not so good. So yeah. we're heading on to. We originally planned to stop at Hampton Court overnight, but the weather is. We think something changed, don't we? Tuesday, something changed. Yeah. Rain and high winds. And we don't want to be doing the tidal Thames in high winds. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we've all opted to... My name's not Magnus. <laughs> we he did it in a storm. Yes, but we haven't got bow thrusters. <laughs> so we can't. And uh, and I don't think Russell would appreciate that. So, no. uh, so anyway, so we're going to plod on now to Tainton, which is about four miles. And, um, and then we're going to stop there overnight. Yeah. Then, have lunch, have a, have a evening meal. Yeah, and then we've got to one catch the tide time. at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, which is going to be interesting. And then we well, you could catch it at one in the morning, but I don't want to do the same tonight. No. no, 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 no. I can't film, can I? That's, that's, I can't film. No. I think Greg the lock's shut anyway. So, no, it's not, it's not going to be. So, uh, it's one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So, we've already found a head up here. Yeah, I've got ahead. So there's plenty of space here when I run in. Excellent. And that's that's the um, that's the plan. So we'll see what happens. We'll catch you later. Hopefully we'll have blue skies. Yes, we've got them now. We've got them now. Up. I must say it's been it's actually been nice being a little bit cooler than it has been. And, Seems like wrong. Busy looking at the sails. 